bulletin has just been handed to me. Hollywood star, the buxom and beautiful Jane Mansfield, is dead. She was killed instantly when the car she was riding in collided with a truck a few miles from New Orleans early this morning. A flaming, grinding car crash ended the bright movie career of famed Jane Mansfield on June 29, 1967. Jane Mansfield died while driving to New Orleans. At 33 years of age, Hollywood's smartest dumb blonde lay at the side of the road. She died instantly and was almost decapitated. Ironically, Jane Mansfield had a fear of cars. She had a superstition she would meet her end while driving. The house Jane Mansfield and Mickey Hargitay shared is more rightly called a mansion. It is one of Hollywood's largest homes with 17 rooms and a swimming pool. In Hollywood, it's known as the house that love built. A few days after the accident, Mickey Hargitay, Jane's second husband, returned to their home to relive old memories. The heart-shaped swimming pool where he and Jane had so much fun, where he taught Jane how to swim. Mickey built this pool with an inscription at the bottom which reads, I love you, Jane. Two of Jane Mansfield's sons, Miklos and Zoltan, are also here. Until the estate is settled, they will continue to live at this imposing mansion. The boys do not remember much about that tragic night. They were asleep in the back seat of the car. Only that saved them from certain death. Time will erase the memory of the accident. It will never erase the memory of their mother. Jane Mansfield was a starry-eyed romantic. She had a passion for love and a passion for heart-shaped objects. To Jane Mansfield, love was the reason for life. Without it, there would be no reason to live. From the time they were married 10 years ago, while she was still struggling to earn a place in show business, Mickey reminisces about their wonderful times together. He spends a few moments at the souvenir wall in their den, where hundreds of Jane's magazine covers are carefully framed. Jane was lifted to instant stardom in this Broadway comedy. She was a pal of many major film stars. This issue of Playboy featuring Jane is perhaps the most famous issue in its history. Manufacturers dedicated many products to her. You could even get a lifelike hot water bottle shaped like Jane. Jane Mansfield performed all over the world to millions of people. Jane Mansfield was one of the most publicized, most photographed sex symbols the world has ever known. She was also the symbol of the dumb blonde. Amazingly, though, Jane Mansfield had a degree from the University of Texas. Her IQ was a startling 163, among the top 5% of the nation. Yet, she chose show business as a career instead of her original goal to be a scientist. Everything in the house is left exactly as it was. Jane's shoes laid out as though she were coming home this evening. Who can fill these shoes? The era of the great stars may have come to an end with her death. Mickey at the piano he bought Jane for their first wedding anniversary. It seemed so long ago. Mickey remembers many things. He remembers how happy they were together. He remembers the good days, the golden days before his world began to crumble. He remembers the movies, the magazines, the hysterical fans. He remembers the good times.
the bad times. It's as if he were saying, Jane, my poor Jane, you were such a wonderful girl. I'll never forget our first meeting. You looked so beautiful. Could I ever, could I ever love another as much as I loved you? Could I ever expect to find the same happiness we once shared? I'm sad for the children, to have you taken from them forever. I'll never forget you. Wherever you are, I hope we'll meet again. Inside these walls, the world knew Jane Mansfield as a sex pot, a symbol of the sensuous woman. Inside these walls, she was a model mother, a fine homemaker, a type we may never see again. The voice of Jane Mansfield will never again caress a child or soothe a man. Mickey remembers many things of their life, but most of all, he remembers that awful night And so ended the wild, wild world of Jane Mansfield, one of the most publicized women of our time and a phenomenon of our century. In the world of motion pictures, she was a true star.